Okay. Okay. This is like the fourth or fifth video that I need to put up. Uh, by the time I put some of them up, I don't even know what's the point because they're couponing videos and yeah. Oh well. This is a Kim from Kim Creations and an Alex from Mrs. McCabe Scrap made me do this. Um, Alex, this time you just made me do one thing. I don't even know. I know she subscribed to my page, but I don't know if she actually. I don't know if anybody actually watches my thing. Okay, so. She got me started on the watercolor thing, even though I really am not quite sure about it yet. Um, in my last haul, I purchased a... It's a kid's watercolor set, but mm, I figure I'm a beginning. Well, she also showed in one of her videos to get this pen. This Versamark watermark pen. It is just like... Um, it's supposed to be just like the Versamark embossing... I mean, the pad that you use to do embossing. And, um, yeah, I think she said you could do something with water coloring with this. So, I went to Joann's, and I went to my favorite Joann's. Um, anyway, this was not on sale. They had a lot of their stuff on sale. This was $4.99, but I used it 40% off, so it ended up only being $2.99 for that at Joann's. What else did I get from Joann's? Uh, I got this stamp because I want to do some of my son's kindergarten kind of sort of non-graduation stuff. Because they really didn't have a graduation ceremony since they only had 20 kids. Um, it was just more of a promotion thing. But anyway, this was Dream Big. It's a um, dollar. And then all of these papers were on clearance for 25% off. Um, a Dream Big, I believe, kind of went with a stamp. This hundred percent boy, um, and they only have one of each. Otherwise, I would have gotten a couple of them because I hate getting one page. But this Thomas one, and I had sold all his Thomas paper, but then I remembered I needed to do some of his birthday stuff from last year, so I went and picked up one. I wish they would have two, but yeah, a SpongeBob one because his birthday this year was SpongeBob. This just because he does. So I have so many pictures of him playing with cars and trains. Like I said, all these papers were 25 cents. This, I thought, was a really good alternative to Halloween. You don't have the, um, or even fall. You don't have, like, all the <clears throat> images and scary things that go on with Halloween or the cutesy things that go on with Halloween. So this was just a nice neutral. Um, keep my son busy this summer. Now, they said these busy kids stuff, kids camp, was supposed to be 30% off. But they only had it, like, in the section where, like, the kits were. So, I don't, and I didn't, she didn't give me 30% off. So, I guess these weren't 30% off. These were just a dollar. But this is a picture story pad. He needs to practice his handwriting. Because it's, like, four times the size of what it needs to be. And, yes, I have a whiteboard that he can practice on. And I have a couple of these pages. But I thought this would be pretty fun to have him make up some stories and draw a little picture. I thought it's, um, 80 sheets for a dollar. I thought that was pretty good. Pretty good. These were all 25 cents. These are various vellum. This is a silver metallic. This is, I don't know if you can see it. Can you? There. Can you see the pattern? It's like an ivy pattern. In yellow. Okay. One of those, this is stripes, two of those, and then this is um, diamonds. I like to take these and say like acetate, I don't know. Um, I like acetate too, but this is easier for me to get a hold of. I like taking these and making punches out of and sticking them under stuff. Or um, tags, really cute tags. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, this is a three-in-one activity pad. This has Manila paper, doodle, and construction paper. And I have some bigger construction paper, but I thought this was a perfect size to do stuff on, or even to put in the car and make him take all this. I got just the cheap Joann's, I guess, version casein. Watercolor, it's 90 pounds. Um, my cardstock is only like 
it's cheap Walmart cardstock, so my watercolor keeps going out. I mean, it keeps making a mess, so I thought I'd get that. And I think that's all I got for, oh, a pair of gloves. They had a whole ton of um, winter stuff in this one section that was 60, or I don't know how much they were originally. A pair of gloves for my son for next year for a quarter. Um, at Fry's, we went, my boyfriend had never been, so he wanted to go to Fry's. I'd been looking for one of these, uh, every, uh, it is a staple remover, but it's not like the old-fashioned one. You just push this under the staples, and it comes out easier. Mine, um, didn't have this metal part. Let me see. I have one somewhere, I don't know where it is, when I taught school, but mine doesn't have this metal part, but, um, yeah, I guess you just can push that if you wanted to make it easier, I don't know, that's kind of hard to do, since it comes with the magnet, so I guess that's supposed to make it easier, but I probably won't use that part, but, for 59 cents, and it's just a plastic one, mine was actually made of steel, but, 64 cents total, hey, you know, whatever. Okay, now this next part is um, Kim's fault. She's been going to Tuesday morning a lot. And um, she showed some of these items and I was like, oh my god. I went to a bigger, t I've gone to, I go to a big Tuesday morning. It's supposed to be, like I said before, it's supposed to be the second biggest in the world, uh, in Texas. This one is just a little bitty one. And I remember after I got in there that um, starting, started June 1st, they were supposed to do like additional clearance. I don't know, I don't. I don't think that's going on anymore because, well, I don't know. I, I, I don't, I can't do math for a while, so I don't know. Tissue paper, 99 cents. This is a, t see, okay, this, pink is 20% off, and this ended up being 79 cents, so I don't think that, yeah, I don't think that sale's going on anymore. But I just wanted some generic to do, like, some decoupage and some, um, I don't know. It's just nice to have tissue paper. Ten sheets for 79 cents. Kids going in first grade next year saw this. 99 cents. This right here. Um, it's, yeah, I'm, I'm not a big fan of buying these pads of paper because you get, like, 12 sheets, yeah, they're 99 cents, but it's 12 sheets of the same one. But I saw this, and I love this. They had another one with Polaroids from this same, um, let's see. This is We Are Memory Keepers, Noteworthy, Notable. They had another one with Polaroids, and I like that one, but I really thought this one, with for 12 of them, I could use over and over again and not have a problem with it. Because it says, My Favorite Moment From Today. Well, that could be any time in the year. We are here. You know, some of these I could cut up into borders as well. But I, I really like this. For 99 cents, I thought that was cool. Um, this was two ninety nine. This is the American Crafts Mayberry. It's 36 sheets of just random papers. I thought that could be like rain. Some polka dots, some flowers, which I don't know what to do with flower paper. Um, who was it? Somebody said something <clears throat> that they don't know what to do with flowers either because they don't have a girl. Really cute arrow. That's really cute. Some stripes. Just some basic. Um, that looks like cards. Oh, I don't have this open. Let's see. Oh, wow. It looks like cards you can break up. <clears throat> some lines, some more flowers, but that's blue. Some words, a doily, some tickets. Just really basic. That's why I got it right there. In the summer sunshine. I know that's pink, but I got it for that same right there. I thought that was so cute. And strawberries. My son loves strawberries. So just some basic generic paper. I've been seeing this one on a um, couple people's hauls and I really wanted it. But anyways, I'm already at nine minutes. Let me hurry this along. Okay, now all the rest of this stuff. Well, no, maybe. 
Okay, this I saw in Kim's video. It's our delicious um, chipboard letters. I just thought this blue was gorgeous. They say they're fine press letters. I don't know. In numbers. $9.99. Now, this, I have no clue what this is. I'm just curious. I've never seen this before. It was $1.99. And they had some other ink pads they said they were blending, but I don't know. This is by Marvy. It says it's Metallic Pearl. So I'm curious to see what that's about. Now, all the rest of this is Kim's fault. I love these Zutter books because, yes, I don't have a Zutter or anything like that, but um, I make these work. Um, so I got four of these 6x6 flat spine coveralls. Um, I don't do the ones with the curve because since I don't have the O-ring, um, it makes it harder. These, I, I can get together a little bit better. Um, anyway. So for those, I got uh, three 6x6 papers. Oh, and those ended up being, these ended up being 89 cents, even though they were originally $1.49, but they got the orange. These don't have the orange on them, but these ended up being um, 60-something cents. Four of the, three of those, and then one black. I had to hunt for those, because they didn't have a lot of those. Um, more. This was like 51 cents, I think. It's just a cover. These were like 35 cents. These are just some 6x4 covers. I thought we could make some little books, brag books for those. <clears throat> um, put them together. Something. Yeah, they got the orange. And then this paper I absolutely love. Oh my gosh. It's $1.99. I've never seen this. I don't think I've seen it in anybody's haul. It's called, it's by Paper House. It's 36 sheets. It's called the Ar Artist Paper. And with my son and I doing all these art stuff, I thought, look. You get two of each. How cool is that? Brush strokes. Nothing else. Just put his picture of a his drawing or something on there. And that's freaking... That says, every good painter paints what he is. Jason Pollock. Purple. What is an art form? Go away. Logic will get you from A to B. Imagination will take you anywhere. Albert Einstein. Art is literacy of the heart. Elliot Eisner. Everything you can imagine is real. Pablo Picasso. I thought that was, that was a really cool. And for $1.99? Yes, mine. Okay, so that's my haul. I'm being invaded. Um, yeah, so that's my haul. I only spent, I got 18, 20 things at Joanne's and I only spent $13. Now, Tuesday morning, I don't know how much I got, but I spent $27. But my son got a $7 puzzle. So, anyways. And that was on clearance, too. Um, yeah, so thank you if you're watching this. I will try to post this later. I need to go, though, because this is already 14 minutes. But, thanks for watching.